Your Highness, you have reached the final stage of training. Today's lesson focuses on the most crucial skill for a commander, how to lead your forces into combat on the battlefield. I trust I have your undivided attention. That you do. I'll listen as if my life depended on it, for indeed it may. On the battlefield, both enemy and allied units advance in real time. Deploy your allies from any of your bases and give them their marching orders. When encountering an enemy unit, select Battle from the menu in order to proceed. If there are other allied units close by, you can swap with them before entering battle. Interesting. So, by swapping for a different unit, you could save an ally in distress, or switch to a unit better equipped to counter this particular enemy formation. Precisely. If neither side loses outright, the unit with the lower percentage of HP will be knocked back and forced into a waiting state. Engaging an opponent in such a state allows you to launch a first strike, an advantage from which few opponents can recover. By defeating enemy units and liberating towns, you earn what is known as Valor. Valor can be spent both to deploy units to the field and to activate Valor skills. I see. A point system for deploying my troops, essentially. Then judicious spending and stockpiling of these points will be critical, I take it. Correct. Valor skills possess many different effects and utilities. You will need to apply them carefully, as every battlefield poses new challenges. Watch also for outposts and machinery unique to each battlefield. Taking proper advantage of these can tip the scales in your favor. It sounds like wise use of these techniques can shorten our time spent on the battlefield, preserving our allies' valuable strength. On the other hand, if you exceed the time limit or allow your command post to be captured, the Liberation Army will face defeat and the dreaded conclusion of game over. However, should you possess a special item known as Hallowed Corn Ash, even such an ignominious defeat may be unwritten. Hallowed Corn Ash? That sounds like an important item. I'll keep it in mind. The time has come, Your Highness, to speak of battle. Battle progresses automatically with your characters using either active skills, which are activated in a set order, or passive skills, which are activated in response to conditions. Battle concludes once both sides' actions are fully exhausted, or when one side is completely eliminated. The actions taken during battle will be determined by the tactics you assign beforehand. Make sure to specify the skill use conditions in advance. When should we use this skill? Upon whom? For example, if your highness defeats an enemy with the active skill Lean Edge, you will trigger a bonus effect that restores HP. Therefore, setting the skill's target to the enemy with the lowest HP will ensure this effect activates as often as possible. Fascinating. And it seems that we can customize the priority level of each skill as well. I expect it's prudent to give urgent tactics like healing skills higher priority. That's right. By setting proper conditions and priorities ahead of time, you will be able to fight with greater efficiency. Tactics and equipment can also be set up automatically. Make use of the optimize function whenever you find yourself in doubt about how to proceed. Once again, Joseph. I owe you my deepest gratitude. Your teachings have helped me grow as a commander. Together, we will dismantle the Empire and restore peace to the land. Your Highness is too kind. I will proudly stand by your side for as long as I am able. To victory! Unicorn Overlord, pre-order now!